Hey, I'm Nate Savage. And I'm Chelsea Amber, and we have a question for you. <laughs> have you always wished that you could sing along with the songs you're learning on guitar? Maybe you have dreams of singing songs with your grandchildren or with your friends around the campfire, or doing a song or two at an open mic, or perhaps somebody heard that you were learning how to play guitar and asked you to sing at a wedding reception. Well, I, singing can open a lot of doors for you as far as playing the guitar more. And you may be thinking to yourself, well, playing guitar is hard enough. How in the world am I supposed to start tackling singing too? The good news is you can learn to sing and play guitar at the same time. And we're excited to say that we are now offering singing lessons to our Guitar Fam members on guitarfam.com. But here are eight tips to get you started right now. Tip number one is to practice the singing and the guitar playing separately. It'll be a lot easier to put them together once you have them figured out on their own. Yeah, it's kind of like um, when I'm teaching guitar lessons, I teach people to work on the chords and then the strumming separately, then bring them together. It's a lot easier. You have more RAM mm. in your brain to fit everything in. And if you need some songs to play through as you learn how to sing and play at the same time just go to guitarfam.com slash songs we have a lot of cover song tutorials there there's a whole easy song section and then you know more of an intermediate selection too yeah and for the purposes of this video we're going to use leaving on a jet plane mm -hmm. as an example and you can find that song as well at guitarfam.com slash songs so let's use the chorus we have the singing and the guitar playing i'll show the guitar playing first i'm going to use a strumming pattern that goes down down up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 down. All right, so that's the chorus. And if you're having trouble with that, it's gonna be really, really, really tough to sing and play at the same time. So nailing that first, step one. Yeah, and then I just need to get the key here. I'm leaving on a jet plane, don't know when I'll be back again. Oh, babe, I hate to go. Yeah. There you go. So those are the two parts separately. And tip number two can help you with this as well. So when you start putting the two parts together, the guitar playing and the singing, you can hum first. And that'll be a little bit less to think about as you're marrying the two. So here's an example. You're giving yourself a chance instead of tackling the whole thing at once, you're giving yourself a chance to add little layers here and there. Yeah, yeah exactly. Tip number three is simplify the parts when you have to. And mm. I'm not, I would call myself a singer, but on the occasion where I, I've been in situations where I have to sing, my go-to is just all down strokes. Mm -hmm. And you know, you could save your strumming, your fancy strumming parts or your wrists or later in the song when you're not singing. Just go look at B.B. King and see if you can find a clip of B.B. King singing and playing at the same time. I don't think it exists. I don't think so either. I think I, I actually tried. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna put you through this. And so I what I, my go-to is downstrokes with eight though. So mm -hmm. See, I'm I'm not good at singing and playing at the same time. My coordination just isn't there. But simplifying it like that, or even just the quarter notes. Yeah. Even I can do that. <laughs> so it's a really good tactic to help kind of ease yourself in to start building those kind of neural pathways and coordinations that are required to sing and play at the same time. And another thing, um, this is tip number four, another thing that can really help you is to try and not just match up whatever syllables you're singing to whatever strumming uh, pattern you're using. And I'll give you an example of this because I struggle with this when I try to mm -hmm. sing and play anything, but you know, it's just a dead simple pattern. I end up doing this. So I end up going, I'm leaving on a jet plane. Don't know if I'll be back again. It's better to just leave on a jet plane. To be consistent with your strumming pattern, even if it's simpler. Um, let me see if I can do a a little more complicated one that's still simple. See, I, I struggle with that a little. I would have to work on it, but if I just do. And I work on that strumming pattern by itself, 
work on the singing by itself and put a little, a little effort, then I could do more than just downstrokes, right? So keep the strumming pattern simple and try not to match the syllables of what you're singing to your strumming pattern. Keep your strumming pattern consistent, even if it's different from what you're singing, you know, like rhythmically. Yeah, and you'll notice in this video that we are using, when, when Nate plays the song and when I'm playing the song, we're using different strumming patterns. So there really is a, a wide variety of options to you know as long as you as what you're playing doesn't conflict with the drums if you're with a drummer yeah and if you don't have a drummer then you know the world is your oyster yeah you get to pick, pick your own feel yeah. yeah tip number five is to observe where the strums line up with specific syllables in the lyrics you're singing that way you can kind of make a mental grid you like to call them landmarks, landmarks yeah. yeah so i'll give an example and actually before i do the example i'll say that yours is going to be different depending on the whatever kind of rhythmic quality you use with your lyrics and also whatever rhythm you use for strumming. Yeah. So mine is just for me, <laughs> the example and, I'm showing. Sure like this is <laughs> as advanced as I get on trying to sing a play at the same time, just so you know. <laughs> uh, okay, so for example, let's look at the first two lines of the chorus for Leaving on a Jet Plane. So yeah. I'm actually gonna use one of the strumming patterns that you used earlier, because it's a little bit easier because to Because it's more beginner, yeah. <laughs> So the strumming pattern we'll use is down, 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 down. Okay. Okay. So if I look at where the down strums line up with my lyrics, I go leaving on a jet plane. Don't know when I'll be back again. So for the first line, we have Leaving. Okay, so there are three down strums within the time that I need to sing leave in. There's one Lee, and then another strum, and then Vin. Leaving. Right. And then a down and then a down up. Which I don't think there are any lyrics on that. No, I think so. Yeah. So we won't worry about that. And then I go to the C, or C add nine if you want yeah. to be technical about it. <laughs> um, and on. So I start this strumming pattern again with the word on, and I'm also on the next the next chord, okay? Mm. So there's a chord change and a down strum on the word on. On a jet plane. Right. Okay, you get mm -hmm. the idea. And then the next line, the first strum happens when there are no lyrics. Right. Don't know, so don't know, they both have a down strum. Right. Don't know when, when, down up, okay? I'll, okay, I'll. There's a chord change and another down strum. I'll be back again. That makes it so much easier to start mm. singing and playing at the same time. It may feel really mechanical at yeah. first, but once you start, you know, get four, five, six songs under your belt, you won't have to think about it as much. Yeah, and that is actually, that is literally how I learned how to sing and play guitar. That yeah. first song I ever learned, I had to think through, okay, this is a strumming pattern, these are the lyrics, where are the down strums yeah. happening in relation yeah. to the lyrics? That is, like, that is, this tip is literally how I learned. Tip number six, once you feel like you're starting to get it, then you can use a metronome and gradually work up to full speed. Now, I do want to say at the very beginning, when you're really, you're just starting, feel free to not use a metronome, but then you can, uh, you know, work up. So, with leaving on a jet plane, that is 121 beats per minute, so let's slow it down to 100 and see what happens. All right, so here's my phone. I'm gonna use it as a metronome. You can see that it is at 100. I'm leaving on a jet plane. Don't know when I'll be back again. Now let's say that felt too fast even. Let's take it down to 90. All right, here we go. We're at 90. I'm leaving on a jet plane. Don't know when I'll be back again. Cool. And keep, if you need to go to 80 or 70, that's cool. When you get to 60 or 50 on like 4-4, four, four, songs that are in 4-4, four, four, kind of pop songs, that gets really, really hard when you get lower than around 60. So just keep that in mind too. Tip number seven is to record yourself. Also known as shock and awe and despair of how bad you are. That, that's a joke. <laughs> like the reason I say this is because you may think, uh, it's just like playing guitar. You may think things are really good sounding. 
Uh, but what happens a lot of the time is we're so consumed and concentrating on playing or singing right that we think it sounds good, but our brains, all of our active resources are being used up by our brain. So when we watch something back, we're like, oh, I didn't notice I was doing this. I really need to go clean this up. So recording yourself is one of the best things you can do, not only for guitar, but for singing as well, to kind of poke holes in the weak areas of your playing or singing to see what you need to really work on. It doesn't have to be fancy. Like mm -hmm. a lot of times for this, you can, I, I just use my phone as a voice memo and I listen back and I'm horrified. Yeah. And oh, the, I, and that, the camera on your phone too. Camera on your, that's even yeah. better because you can look at yourself if you're doing anything weird, especially for your playing. Uh, but that's, it's it's very difficult to to do that. You know, it's like people hate the way they they sound when they talk. People hate the way they like sound the when they sing. Version, but you'll get yeah. used to it, and you'll get better and better at uh, fixing the problem areas that you don't like, or the problem areas that are kind of holding you back, or bad habits, things like that. Tip number eight. Someone once told me that one live performance is worth seven practices, and I tend to agree with that. So my last piece of advice is to get out there and start playing, whether it's in your living room with your friends and family members, or at an open mic, or if you do a YouTube cover song. But as you gain more experience, you will also gain more confidence. And at uh, guitarfab.com, we have monthly live streams where we do mm -hmm. student video features and student video reviews. It's a nice little form or just um, a venue for you to showcase what you're working on, whether it's singing, playing, or singing and playing at the same time, whatever it is. Yeah. And one last word of encouragement, the first song is the hardest. So as you get better technique vocally and on guitar, then you'll be able to do more and more complex strumming patterns mm -hmm. while you're singing. And if you need help with your singing technique, I'm so excited to say that we're finally offering private singing lessons to our Guitar Fam members. So head to guitarfam.com slash singing lessons to learn more and to book your first lesson. With her, not me. I want to help you discover and develop your unique singing voice so that you can play the songs you love with confidence. So those are our favorite tips for learning how to sing and play guitar at the same time. If you have any great tips for this, leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, go to guitarfam.com and get started with your complimentary account on the site today. See you later.